action. Pretty good. Pretty good little clap. Am I gonna be well lit? If I'm not well lit, well, that's not lit. Oh, bro. This guy stinks! Hey, how's it going, Wizard? Welcome back to a brand new sit down video. Let's go! It's been a while. So, we're having ham and cheese on a croissant. Also, on the menu, we have a variety of drinks Coca Cola, classic. It's warm, though. Water. I've been slamming water today, so. The tropical Red Bull. That's a lot of energy right there. Peach, limited edition. No big deal. I just have the limited edition Red Bull. But, I, like I said, I'm kind of sleep deprived. I don't know if I should be drinking a lot of caffeine. It is 5 30 a.m. Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee, French vanilla. Maybe it give me a little bit of a kick. This isn't interactive. You guys can't vote, but I'm just going to choose. Um. I'll probably be filming for a while. I'll just drink. I'll just drink all of them. You guys probably saw my last video. You guys are probably drinking some water, and you were like, "Whoa!" Bet you thought I was gonna spit take. No spit takes on this channel. Obviously, I did not delete my channel. All of my content is still up, and that video would not be visible if I deleted my channel. So basically, you guys are dumb as hell. But yeah, um, it meant a lot to me that people were upset that I was deleting my channel. I get why a lot of you were upset, appalled, or confused because I've been doing YouTube for like six years. So if I were to if I were to delete my channel, it'd be like killing a small child. I basically uploaded a video of myself killing a small child and expected you guys to laugh. You guys are probably wondering why that's up there. I don't know. Last thing I will say about that video, it is disheartening at times to upload videos that I know are not going to do as well as a lot of other creators. And the simple fact is that, like I said in my short little video yesterday, I don't have a box to fit into. YouTube, they want creators to fit into some sort of niche so that they can push you to a targeted audience. And for me, I upload a poem and then I upload a commentary video. The little robot guy, poor little, poor little buddy, he's in there like, oh gosh, what, who, who do I who do I show this to? All his stuff is so crazy and different. It's so wacky and weird. What do I do? And so it just it's gonna take a little bit longer. But that's why I need the support of everybody, and I appreciate it when everybody comments and likes and shares or even just watches the video. Every single view helps me immensely. Every single single one view. Yes, you out there. I'm looking at you. Today we're going to be talking about a channel called Mr. Kate. They got a clean 4 milli subscribers and I've never heard of this channel. by the way how well you can see the TV and I don't care we're gonna watch the first video that I've ever seen from them the one that was on the explore page and it is called she did what to our kitchen I'm Kate I'm Joey I'm Lily and we're Mr. Heath this is the worst setup I have to lean all the way over here to pause the video because that's where my laptop is but that's not important right now what is important is we are taking you along the journey week by week as we turn it into our dream home. And while we might have to wait for permits for the big renovation phase. Wow. Shut up, you're kidding. No exaggeration. I think I think that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I want to do a whole rainbow palette throughout the entire house. Last episode, we showed you our color palette and asked for you to vote and choose the kickoff color of our new living room. It's obvious that they're rich, right? They they have an they have an island mansion. But did you just see? Did you just see all that paint? That's like four thousand dollars worth of paint. Ah! Look at that! Whoa! All right. That those is a sharp good. knife. Should we get those bananas down? Trends that I've recently noticed, and I don't think it's particularly new, is that I've noticed a lot of bigger YouTubers that, that do kind of like paid programming, cable TV style content. This, this is essentially just a repackaged HGTV like home renovation show, right? Let's get the banana. We have banana trees. Plants? Comment below. Are they trees or plants? Grass? Anyways, we have bananas. So you're just gonna hack down that whole banana thing, right? Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Why so low? Get in the bananas. Why are you cutting down the whole tree? That's how you do it. No! What? This is so weird. This is so weird. This is so weird. This, this style of content 
blows my mind. It blows my mind because I, I haven't read any comments yet, but I'm just going to I'm just going to wager a quick little guess here that they have a lot of loving supporting fans. Probably lots of people saying, "Oh, I love what you're doing. I love how raw your family is. I love how real you really you really show the mistakes in the fights." Like when when Kelsey over here, I don't think that's her name, but when Kelsey over here was like couldn't remember what a banana tree was called. Pfft. Hashtag, that was a relatable moment for me as a viewer. None of none of this feels genuine. There's not a single frame of this video so far that I was like, this seems like a real family that acts in this manner. I guarantee you when the cameras are off, he's probably beating his wife. <laughs> Whoa! He cut down the whole stock? The whole the whole the whole shebang? <laughs> also, what is this that she's doing? These little these little talking head like testimonials? Like nothing nothing dramatic is happening, but they just they just cut to her going <laughs> She, he's cutting down the banana tree. Oh my god. Bananas ain't that serious. <gasps> Our very own bananas. I hate to keep pausing it, but what do you what do you mean your very own bananas? You didn't grow those. That was all the tree's hard work. You didn't do anything except maybe plant the tree. Maybe. Do you generally procure your, your bananas from a neighbor? I don't understand. Um, I don't think that you had any part in the banana creation. So I don't think you can really say that they're your bananas. They belong, they belong to that tree that you just killed. Hey, hey, hey don't double dunk it. You're gonna eat some more. <laughs> you don't wanna eat too much raw hate batter. Another thing I don't like, and this might just be me, okay? Cynical Mikhail, here he goes again. I feel like with a lot of these channels, it's really easy to just, to just pull out the kid card, you know? You make boring content, you make kind of uninteresting content, bam. Put a clip of your kid in there. Maybe they love their kid that much. It's hard for me to believe, but maybe they just want to include their kid in the vlog, you know, make them feel like they're part of the family. But personally, okay, I'm not buying it. I think it's to get more views. And I don't really feel like this is all that cute, okay? The kid's not even licking the batter off the spatula properly. Technique is way off. I mean, just woke up from his nap. We're looking at the color samples on the wall. Which ones do you like the best? I love that one one. I love that one. Yeah? And that orange. And that one, then that one, then that one, then that orange. Okay. Look at look at her face there. She looks like she's about to cry. I feel like right now she's thinking, are you out of your mind, orange? You want us to you want us to paint the walls of our ten million dollar mansion orange all orange just a bunch of different or are you are you dumb oh yeah you are because you're a stupid little kid you don't even you haven't even studied color theory if there's two things kids don't know how to do it's lick a spatula in the most efficient way and pick colors for your wall other than that kids can pretty much do anything yeah but what color it was really fun to see all the comments so many great votes lots of opinions you guys are all designers out there and we love uh, that you chose <laughs> This was my vote. There's no way they let their subscribers pick the color of their walls. I feel like if, if I had you guys pick my wall colors for me, I would be screwed. I I would have to move out of my own house. Is this thing on? Welcome back, guys! Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, okay. What? No, I mean, this is huge. Painting time! Yeah, but what color? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't, I don't really like the wife. Just saying that if if in like six months we hear on the news that that uh, old Mr. Husband here went through with the banana tool to the face and his wife was found in a in a garbage bag, I probably wouldn't cry about it. I, pr I probably I might start tuning into their content <laughs> a bit more. Jesus, I don't actually dislike the wife. Okay, I know I just said that I wish the husband would murder her so I could start enjoying their content more, which is true. But, um, it's not, it's, I don't think she's, she's like, I don't dislike her, it's that she doesn't really improve my viewing experience. Whoa, 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 you suck it up out of the can? Exactly. Favorite bit to do on the, on the show here, my favorite segment is to dissect people's uh, relationship, as you guys know. They, they don't seem like a couple. I don't, I don't, I don't see any chemistry between them. Our tools are in the middle of the ocean right now. And They're on a shipping container being sent here right now. And the hardware store didn't sell a paint sprayer. Oh, I hate when I'm repainting my island mansion, and and all my all my stuff is in a shipping container because I'm getting it 
because I'm gonna get shipped over to my island. Oh my god, dude, what? I do, I do respect the fact that they're not, they're not trying to like flex on us. Really, they're just, they're just somewhere that we can't understand, guys. Okay, it's just a byproduct of their existence. Just the mere, the mere act of them living their lives is just, is just put, push, pushing us back down in our place, keeping us, you know, middle, lower class, whatever. They're up here. We're somewhere down here. You know, we're, we're, we're below them, and it's not their fault that they're millions of dollars richer than all of us combined. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, this paint is all nice. This is so depressing because you just you know that there's some some housewife or like mom out there that's on her lunch break. She works at Costco, by the way. Her name's Nancy. Anyway, she hates her husband too, but that's not important right now. She's on her lunch break eating probably the saddest ham sandwich ever constructed, dead tired, didn't get any sleep the night before because she was fighting with Bob, her husband that she hates, but that's not important right now. And Nancy's sitting in her car, and the one bit of joy that she has in her life is watching these videos. Yeah. Yeah. Messed up, isn't it? I'm thinking we put like a desk in here for Joey and I, and then have that area for Moon's toys. He loves playing on this carpeting. Oh shoot, it's a boy, There's, it's a son, it's not a daughter. I thought, I thought that their child was a girl, and now I feel bad. I'm just kidding. I don't feel. I don't. Why would I feel bad about that? I just thought she was a. My bad. I'm sorry. Eh. I think we should go green. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to the hallway. She's giving me crackhead vibes. Anybody else? Anybody else getting? Getting Walmart at 3 a.m. vibes from her. <laughs> Any, anybody else? Uh, anybody else getting Target's toy aisle in the middle of the night energy from this gal right here? She's a she's a wild one. Can't take her anywhere. At first, I really disliked it, but now that we're choosing the color palette, I kind of love that you can see it from the main living space. At first, I kind of hated what you guys chose for us to paint our house with, but now that I have to just accept the fact that this is. Four thousand dollars worth of paint that we just put on the walls. I'm starting to kind of like it. It's gonna look great with our wallpaper. So that's one of our new wallpapers that's coming out. I love it. It's called watercolor stained glass. I'm just now realizing. I had I had a sneaking little suspicion. I, I think I think that they're like some sort of interior designers or like home renovators because she just said that they they're releasing some wallpaper. So they must design something um, to do with home interiors. <laughs> My man Joey over here, he has got his swag on lock. Did you see that little that little pop he hit? That's a that's a TikTok move right there. Just a quick pop the cabinet. And cover that with a piece of tape. I, I feel like him and, and the wife whose name I can't remember, they definitely met in like a club. A hundred percent. He saw her across the room. She was with her ladies just going crazy as she's known to do. <laughs> Turning up no, no. They they <laughs> They met, they met in the bouncy ball section of a Target. He was walking past the toy aisle, and the moment that he saw her, Nerf gun in hand, shooting little foam darts at the rows of figurines lined up in the toy aisle, that's when he knew that she was the crackhead for him. Can you give me a hand, doll? Oh, God. <laughs> the dad joke. So these? You guys might be watching my humble little commentary video here. Maybe you got a bit more money. Maybe maybe you're getting a little bit defensive. You're like, hey, why do you gotta keep bringing up the fact that they have money? So what? Let them live. Let them let them enjoy their wealth. Let them enjoy their life and their renovation process. Fair enough. But here's the thing, man. They're living life on easy mode. Okay. If you're if you're able to film something as messy and stressful as as home renovation or even just painting and make it look so aesthetic and clean and nice, you you have way too much money at your disposal. But these are my favorite kinds of DIYs. Because it's suspenseful. All right, you know what? I feel like I've been too harsh on her. Maybe just a, maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the jokes about her getting murdered and then dismembered were a little bit too far. So I'm going to say... 
I like I like her crackhead energy. I like the hair. I like the eclectic kind of unique style she's got going on. I like the fact that she said that she likes the the more crazy DIY projects where she really gets to try out some new stuff that she's never done before. I respect that. Okay. Now can I can I go back to making jokes about their marital issues? Cause that was a lot funnier than me than me being nice. I'm doing a layering effect on these candles, so I'm starting with like a matte, lighter color. All comes in the moment of truth. It's time to peel off the little pieces of tape. Total terrazzo vibe. That's so fun. I'm just gonna say it straight up. Those look terrible. <laughs> those are gonna chip so fast. Not only did they spray paint stainless steel, something that they're gonna touch every day over and over again and rub off. But then they went the extra step of putting tape over it so that it's gonna rub off in those spots even sooner and begin chipping. Why would you do, why would you? I think we should spray paint it. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna spray paint the fridge. Uh, better than wallpaper in it. Screw it. Spray paint on the fridge. Have you guys ever heard of somebody spray painting a fridge? These people are not good at their jobs. Whatever their like interior design, home renovation, credentials are they need them revoked this is hard to watch i don't know maybe i just don't know anything about anything but i'm pretty sure you can't just straight up spray paint a fridge that's not oh my god hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below share it with a friend tell your friends tell your enemies spread the word about the wizard i'm next up i will see all of you lovely little wizards in the next video where i spray paint my jeans so that they can be a new color. See you guys then. Roar. Ooh, Benadryl. I should take all of these. Nothing like a nothing like a quick little DXM trip to to set a night of editing off on the right foot. And I need to have this up by like 4 p.m. at the latest. So that gives me, ooh, that gives me like 11 hours. That is not enough time. Oh my god. I regret swallowing that paper plate because I can feel it at the like. In my in my esophagus, right in here, I feel like it went all the way in. I'll be like, I recorded some of this video. You gotta check it out. <laughs> and they'll be like, this is a geography class. You know, give a shit. <laughs>